I'm Shirban Sarbu. I'm a, a cave biologist and I am specialized in studying caves that contain hydrogen sulfide, which is the smelly sulfur component that can be found in areas where organic matter decomposes or in thermal springs. Um, when we find such gas in a cave, then the biology of the cave becomes very interesting because microbes can live in this water with hydrogen sulfide and produce food inside a cave. So we have a very rich biology in such caves, many new species, a lot of uh, specimens of various animals that live in there. Some of them are cave adapted, some of them are not. And we are trying to understand how the ecology of these caves function. I've been doing this for 38 years. Uh, first started in Romania and then in uh, Italy and Greece and other places. And recently we are visiting caves in Albania that were explored by uh, cave explorers that do uh, go in these caves to see how deep they are, how long they are. They take pictures, they are doing this for the exploration part and we are doing it for the study of the biology, trying to understand what lives there, how they survive in this environment and what kind of uh, relationship there are between the various populations. We explored uh, and surveyed two uh, areas already. One is in the Sarandoporos area, right on the border between Albania and Greece. And there are several caves that contain sulfuric water. And then um, recently we came to the Langaritsa area in the Langaritsa uh, Canyon. There are some cave entrances. One of them reaches the sulfuric water down below. It's a very difficult cave. You have to descend on ropes uh, about 80 meters to reach the bottom of the cave. And uh, the air is very hot. Uh, the uh, con concentration of oxygen in the air is lower than normal, a lot of CO2. So you have to be very careful and do it with safety measures um, so that we don't face an accident. Uh, what we discovered in these caves is uh, that the biology is very rich. The food source is there. We have a lot of microbes that produce food within the cave, which makes it possible for organisms to colonize the caves. We have a colony of 70,000 spiders in the Sarandoporos area and Sulfur Cave. Here we also found a lot of spiders, centipedes, uh, pseudoscorpions and other organisms that are adapted to cave life. So the biodiversity in these caves is unusually high. There are a lot of interesting things to study and we are just at the beginning of this study. In terms of the microbiology, we collaborate with the university in Tirana with two of the professors there that study the microbiology and tomorrow we'll be there talking to them, making, doing a presentation for the students and for the uh, university professors and trying to establish an agreement, a collaboration agreement, so that people from uh, Tirana can come to the universities where we work in Bucharest or in uh, Brussels. And my colleague Jean-Francois will talk about this. Uh, and then we can uh, work together trying to better understand what's going on in the caves in Albania. The whole purpose of this is to inform the local official uh, people such as the mayor of uh, Permet here or of Leskovic in the Sarandoporos area. We contacted them, we contacted the Albanian embassies in Prague. Uh, our colleagues from uh, the Czech Republic are here also exploring the caves as well and studying, measuring them. Uh, we contacted the ambassador in uh, the Albanian ambassador in Bucharest and we are in touch with the Ministry of Tourism here in Albania so that everything is done officially in collaboration with the local explorers and with the local scientists. As I mentioned already, we explore, we have explored already the caves in the uh, Sarandoporo uh, Canyon, which contains sulfidic waters. And here in the Langaritsa Canyon, where also there are sulfidic waters known as uh, tourist attractions. People come here to uh, swim or to dip in the sulfidic thermal waters. There are some other areas of sulfidic water which we have not seen further up north in the Holtas Canyon and then close to Tirana. Those we have not visited yet. Uh, Permit is the uh, place where, which is close to the Langaritsa Canyon. 
And in the Langaritza Canyon, there are sulfidic thermal springs. And there in the same canyon, there are these caves which I mentioned. That's where we went to visit and to survey the biology of these caves. I have not visited Holtas Canyon, as I mentioned before. And Kruja, we just had a quick look there last year. Uh, we have not done any studies. That is something that we plan to do in the future. But so far we saw the caves in the Sarandoporos and in the um, Holtas Canyon, uh, sorry, in the um, Langarisa Canyon. And each one is different. They are very different in terms of biology. Uh, and both of them are very interesting. I couldn't say which one is more interesting than the other because each one has specific things that differ from the others. But in both of them, we found a new species for science that don't live anywhere else in the world, but just here. And those are going to be described as new species by people who study such groups. So far, the only one that was discovered, uh, was described is a species of scorpion, which was first found in the Sarandoporos area, but we saw it here in Langaritza as well. Well, first of all, uh, anything that is uh, um, a natural environment that was not disturbed is very fragile, and the more people go in there, the more damage can be done. Um, these uh, ecosystems are extremely fragile, so we want to make sure that what we see now will be available for our children and grandchildren and for future generations.